Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping healthy. Last time we did a video was about a month ago. And I thought before we go ahead and work on any more trees, I wanted to do an update on my seedlings that I had started late last spring. I believe it was uh, late June. Um, they haven't grown much over the winter time because they did go into a slight dormancy. Um, down here in the plant room I kept it at about 18 degrees Celsius. Um, some of the trees grew a little bit and others lost their leaves and uh, like I said went into a a light dormancy. And now since I have been keeping it warmer the last two to three weeks uh, actually, I've been keeping it upwards around 23, 24 degrees Celsius. Uh, things are really starting to spring back here. Uh, let's start with the, with the bullhorn acacias here, to the right of us here. So I've got two seedlings here. This one doesn't look like it's doing well, but like I said, some of the trees really showed signs of light dormancy and others just kind of continued to grow very slowly so this one showed more signs of dormancy than this one did so that was a uh, that was kind of interesting but if you see on the top here we are getting some uh, newer growth on which is good this one kept all of its leaves this is the this is the newest growth that we have on it here about the last week and a half that has come on and throughout the winter time we did grow about the last set of branches but it took all winter to grow those and they didn't grow very fast but however this one really didn't show much sign of going dormant at all But it's also, it's accelerated in its growth. Over here we have the uh, coral bean seedlings. These here slowed right down. Uh, this one really slowed down. This one basically dropped all of its leaves. And you can see this, this extra little trunk or branch that it put out here. That's only just put it, been put out recently. Probably about a week ago now. That's how fast it's grown and come back. We're also getting some newer growth on the, uh, the older original small little trunk there. This one here lost all of its leaves. Went dormant. You can see that it's back now. All this growth is just from about the last week, week and a half. So they're really really coming back quick here. And down in the front here we have our Boswellia sacris. Now I brought these down here uh, just for the video, but I've been keeping these up under other lights um, where they can sit closer to the light. And they're up higher, so it's actually a little bit warmer up near the top of the shelves where these normally sit. Um, now looking at these, this one really doesn't look like it's going to come back. This one over here is very questionable, but it's not looking too promising. This one on the other hand, it did uh, eventually lose its leaves after going into dormancy, but it hasn't shriveled up.
So I've got some faith in this one here that it is going to come back at some point. Uh, we'll see. We'll find out. I can't wait. In about a month from now, I should be able to take it outside, at least on some really nice, warm, sunny days, which should help it a lot. Over here, we have our monkey ear seedlings. I uh, should clean up, clean up some of these leaves here. These seedlings haven't stopped growing, but they did slow down considerably. Um, they would put forth some new branches with some leaves on them. And then after about a couple weeks, they would just drop the leaves again. They would put out some more branches and drop the leaves. So I've been constantly cleaning up the leaves in here in these little pots. So I just think it was just a, you know, just a very light dormancy stage that it was going through. Um, you know, like it would grow and then go into a very short dormancy period and then come back out again. Almost like it was going in and out of dormancy. So very strange. However, the last couple of weeks, three weeks since I've had the heat up in here and keeping it much warmer, we've had some newer growth on them. So they're, they're looking quite good. They're all putting forth some newer growth. Um, this one in the back here, you can see it hasn't had leaves for quite a while. However, though, we do have some new growth coming on up near the top. So that's, uh, that's promising. We got some newer growth on this one at the back here. That one also had all the leaves off it all winter long. And it just started coming back about two weeks ago. So yeah, things are uh, things are starting to come back. These are just a couple of small plantings <laughs> that I did with cuttings here. Probably maybe a couple months ago now. So these are little jade cuttings. That's a Kalankoe cutting. You will remember from my Kalankoe bonsai. And this here is a little cutting from what they call as a goldfish plant. Um, I'll show you that sometime. The reason why they call this a goldfish plant is because it gets little uh, flowers on it and they look like goldfish. Anyways, well, that's it for today. Uh, one thing, in case not too many of you are familiar with these Boswellia sacris, um, they are native to the Arabian Peninsula and northeastern Africa. So these normally thrive in a very, very dry climate. So these here, I only water them maybe once a week. So I don't water these very often. And I'll likely start fertilizing them once I see some life back in them again or when they're coming back. So I'll do an update at that time. I really hope that I at least get one of these to come back. I'll uh yeah I'll be much happier of course. Yeah if you want to see more more of these trees here, these Boswellia sacris, um if you go to Todd's Tropicals, he has a lot of really cool different trees that many of you probably haven't seen before and he actually has some small Boswellia sacris um, I think they're they're beyond seedlings they're probably about two years old now I would imagine if my memory serves me right so you can see what these Boswellia sacris look like after about one year or two years after uh, being started from seed. And he also has older mature ones that are, you know, a few years old. So definitely uh, check out his channel there. 
really interesting stuff. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for this video here. On our next video, we're going to be uh, starting on working on some trees again. Well, you guys have a great day, and stay safe out there. And we'll see you soon.